Surf 102.5 Podcast. Right now, I have my special guest, Mr. Patrick Jacobs. Good morning, Patrick. Good morning, Lee. How are you? I'm okay. You're looking very chuffed with yourself this morning. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, yesterday, we I had my exhibition, yes. the start of the exhibition. The, they call it, in, in French, they call it vernissage. Okay. Which is an opening of, of an exhibition. And um, thrilled. Yes. Um, full house. Um, so many friends I met. It's, it's, it's really nice. Great to hear. So your photography exhibition is on for two days, but we're going to get to that a little bit more in a moment mm, okay. because I thought the exhibition is quite unique, so I think there's a lot to talk about there. But tell us a little bit about you, because not everyone would, would know Patrick Jacobs. I think most people will, but tell me a little bit about how you got into photography. Oh, I started with photography when I was 17 or so, when my dad gave me a camera. Right. And, and right there, it... it it was, I, I really liked it, but mm. later on um, I, I stopped taking pictures because of my, my profession. Life happened. Yes, life does happen, yes. Um, and then later on I, I picked it up again um, here in, in, in Thailand. Mm. And where did you start out? What were the things that you started taking photos of first? Formula One. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are you, you're a lover of Formula One? Yeah, I, I, I live. My, my hometown is very, very close to Zolder. Okay. The Formula One circuit then. Wow. And um, I actually, when they start the air, their engines, I could hear them in my mm. salon. Wow. So it was very close. Yes. And, and I have uh, um, Ronnie Peterson, Jackie Stewart, uh, Jochen Rindt, all these guys. There's a little bit of my history in, in photography. But, and here in Hui Hin, though, you, you were originally known for doing sunrises, is that correct? And are you still into that? I'm, I'm still doing that. I'm, I love to go to the beach. Yes. That, that's, that's one of the reasons I, I, I like Hua Hin so much. Mm. I love to go to the beach and, and I love to see the sunrise, even though if, if it's a great day, I, I'm out there. Yes. Not always fully equipped with, with tripod and camera and stuff like that when I use my phone, which has a camera as well, of course. But, funny about um, that. Yeah. Um, but the funny thing is, like, I cannot make telephone calls with my good camera. <laughs> funny about that, too. <laughs> but, you know, or you also do a lot of uh, people photography and other landscapes as well, don't you? Um, basically, photography is so big. Mm. I, like to do sh I, I like to do food. I like to do sports. Yes. Uh, when they have the, the, the track days, the motorbikes, um, sunrises... Um, Wildlife photography. So this passion is Elephants. really have no, take, it's, taken it's, over your life, yeah. hasn't it? Okay. Well, we're going to come back after this song, Patrick, mm. and let's talk about your exhibition, okay? Okay. Good. This morning I'm here with Mr. Patrick Jacobs, who has got a fantastic art exhibition or photography exhibition that's on here at the Standard Hua Hin. So, Patrick, tell me how this all came about. <sighs> that's a big sigh. We, that, yeah. <laughs> where, where to start? Somebody asked me if I would do an exhibition. Okay. And, and, and for me, to do an exhibition is basically a spending money. Mm. Where you, you have to do the prints and this and that. And then I, w I was talking to another friend and he convinced me. He says, like, do you remember this guy who talked to you when he came to you and he, he wanted you to print on, on metal? Because right. it's, it's, a, it's a Belgium engineer. Right. Uh, grew up in Silicon Valley and, and, and um, he spoke to me about it and so after like maybe 10 months um, I um, called him again and this is like are you interested in doing something with, with metal uh, on aluminium and he said yeah, yeah sure we can do so that's basically how it started yeah it was just fascinating last night to see these beautiful images oh it's it's out of this world it, yeah, it's, it it's, is. it's it's not a, it's not a normal picture anymore no it's not and this is not a normal photography exhibition you know I've never seen anything like it and the the resolution on these mm. images oh, or yeah, on this metal is out of it's, this world yeah, it's deep it is it's deep. impregnated in in the aluminium yeah, yeah the colors are really put burned inside the aluminium yeah, and it does bring out everything in that image. It just looked fantastic. And how many images have you got on display? Uh, 16. 16? Mm, yeah. And are they from where? All here in Thailand? Um, 
All in Thailand, uh, most of them from Hua Hin. There's there's four or five that are not from Hua Hin. Okay, okay. But the rest is is all made in Hua Hin. Yeah. Well, Although sometimes you don't even recognize it because the simple tree shells on the beach can be anywhere, be anywhere but yes. it's in Hua Hin. Yeah, no, it looks fantastic. And how? What have you got on at the moment? Well, you always got a project on the go, haven't you? Um, for the moment, I have actually I have two. Um, there's my my calendar is out. Uh, so uh, yesterday and today and tomorrow you can see it right um, I it's it's here I have it with me and then my next project will be a book uh, on Hua Hin about the fishermen oh, tell us about that um Hua Hin is founded mm. by fishermen mm. so many odd years ago and 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 to me they rip they still represent although it's a royal touristic town yes it is still a fisherman's town yes correct very much yes. and and for me that's that's the soul of who I am yes when I go to the beach I see fishermen mm. and 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 those are the ones that I like to photograph and 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 due to COVID mm. and due to the no more tourists those were the only people and the monks of course but those were the only people I saw at the beach and and then it, it I started thinking about like I I should homage them with with something mm. and and again a friend of mine he said like why don't you do a book on it and so i started collecting pictures and and oh i have to kill babies <laughs> i really have to kill babies otherwise i end up with a with a thousand page book yes but but um it's done well there's always other volumes you know <laughs> yeah probably you know, yeah. I think that's where the volume number 12 correct, you have it <laughs> correct of mr patrick jacobs in who are here but no i think that's really exciting i think you you capture who are here in a way that a lot of people don't see it and, no. and for us residents sometimes well, we miss it also here in, at the exhibition you have mm. this fisherman who, who throws his net mm. it's like a ballet yes and 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 for me to capture that and the special lights and everything it's it's so beautiful and the boats uh the dk uh, the, the old boats that are falling apart and, but they're all okay. have their soul and they all have their color well actually today fishermen correct the ship to sea the ship to festival sea. is yes. happening and, and i cannot go i know <laughs> <laughs> we'll miss your photos but you know we maybe have to get some from before but but you know i think that's a really fantastic part about the heritage of Hua this, Hin. This is really Hua Hin. Mm, it is. Hey Patrick, thank you so much for coming in and chatting with me this morning. I've really enjoyed it as always. And uh, good luck on your exhibition and congratulations. I think it's a really great honor to do that. And especially in a hotel like this. Mm, thanks for having me. No problems, Patrick. Surf 102.5 Podcast.